Hello readers, welcome back to Reader's Workshop. Have you ever been to a Chinese restaurant and had a fortune cookie for dessert? Give me a thumbs up if you have. Awesome! Well, basically what a fortune cookie is, it's a sugary crisp cookie that you take and you snap open and inside the cookie is a slip of paper and that paper is your fortune. So the fortune gives you advice for how to have a good life. So sometimes it may say things like make new friends but keep your old ones as well or it might say don't give up, keep trying. The reason I bring this up is because today I want to teach you that stories are just like fortune cookies. When you open up your story, you will find a little life lesson in it. So we know anytime we open our book that we're going on a brand new adventure. And sometimes when you finish that book and you finish that adventure, you'll be left with a life lesson. So we're gonna look at a few books and I want us to see if we can think about what those life lessons are. So let's look at this book right here. This book is called Ish. You might remember it from first grade or even Art with Miss Olsen. This is a story about a little boy who's painting and he's trying his hardest to make his paintings look perfect. And then his little sister sees his painting and she said, well, it looks like a house ish. And the boy hears the ish and he gets so happy and he realizes that his paintings don't have to be perfect. As long as he can, he's doing his best, then he's happy. So I'm thinking about what life lesson we can learn from this story. And if I crack it open, oh my goodness, I see a fortune inside. Let's read this fortune. What life lesson can we learn from that book-ish is do your best, your best is good enough. So that is a life lesson we can learn from this book. Let's look at this next book. Another one of our favorite, Frog and Toad, our friends. What life lesson can we learn from this book? Let's see if there's any fortunes in there. Oh, there's a fortune. Let's see what this life lesson says. It says friends are always there for each other. Absolutely. We can definitely learn that from Frog and Toad. They show us in every story that we read how, um, how they're friends and how they always show up for each other and they're there for each other. So that's a great life lesson. Friends are always there for each other. I have one more book to look at. The Bad Seed, thinking about this character and how he went through a lot of things where he just was being a bad seed and doing bad things. And then one day he made a change. He decided he wanted to change and be different and be better. So I'm thinking about what life lesson we could learn from The Bad Seed. Opening it up, I see a fortune. Let's see what this one says. This life lesson says, change can be hard, but don't give up. Every day is a new day to make good choices. Yes, thinking about this character, we know he decided one day he was gonna be better and then each day he was trying his best. So that's a life lesson that we can learn from that book. Alrighty. So all of these stories, when you're reading your books, I want you to be thinking about what life lessons you can take and apply in your own life. Okay, and as you're doing that, I'm going to give you a few tips to help you look for those life lessons in your book. We're starting, we're almost done with our reading unit. We have one more anchor chart to go through and then we will be finished with our unit. So one tip on how you can look for life lessons in your story, your books are to reread the ending and think, how did the trouble get fixed? That is one strategy you could do when you're looking for life lessons in your story. I'm gonna give you one more today. Next one you can look for as you're reading. Okay. Is think, what did the character learn or realize? That's your second one. So I want you to be thinking about those strategies at today as you go off to read. And before I sing off, I want us to try one book together. We all know 
or hopefully we're all familiar with the story of Little Red Riding Hood. We know in this story the character, the mom told Little Red Riding Hood to go straight to Grandma's house and don't stop and talk to anyone. She said, go straight to Grandma's. But we know that she didn't. We know that she stopped and talked to Wolf and even told her, told him where she was going. And we know the wolf ran ahead to Grandma's house, gobbled her up, and then dressed like Grandma in disguise. And then Little Red Riding Hood got there. And she, thank goodness, luckily, she recognized that something was off. And she said, oh, what a big nose you had. And she realized that the wolf was dressed up as grandma. But thinking about this story and what life lesson that Little Red Riding Hood can learn from what happened in the story. Think about what's a life lesson that we can learn from this book and that Little Red Riding Hood learned. Will you tell a partner what life lesson you think we can learn? Alrighty, those are some great life lessons. So I think I heard someone say that what Blue Red could do next time is to obey your parents, listen to your parents. That's a good life lesson that we all can apply to our own lives too. It's also don't talk to strangers. If she would have went straight to grandma's without talking to strangers, then there probably wouldn't have been that problem of grandma being eaten. All right, so those are the life lessons that we came up for a little with for a Little Red Riding Hood. So readers, as you go off today, so now when you read your books, the, the fortunes are not going to be on slips of paper and they're not going to be in your book. So that means you are going to have to be working hard to really think about what is the message going on in this story? What life lesson can I take from my book? You ha it's your job to crack open that book that you're reading and look for those life lessons that you can learn and then apply in your own life. If you want, you can even write those life lessons on a post-it note and put them on your book to help you remember. But as you go off today, be thinking to uh, reread the ending and think, how did the trouble get fixed? And also think about that character. What did the character realize or learn um, from the story? Readers, I hope you have a great time today cracking open those books like fortune cookies and finding those life lessons. Happy reading. Off you go.